Hello guys, I'm Mechanic Bright. I'm working on this truck 2018 F-150. Engine was toasted, even engine light on. So I'm replacing new engine, this uh, 5 liter. Today I'm gonna show, explain 5 liter engine sensor location. This right hand and the back one area, you guys see the ignition coil and the front side starting number one cylinder. And then the second, uh, ignition coil right here and then third and fourth cylinder in the right hand bank the right hand side is bank one remember that passenger side bank one cylinder one through the number four located and the back of the right hand is in the header there are a camshaft position sensor outside is an exhaust inside intake and then other of bank two left hand the driver side and also back of the cylinder head there are two camshaft position sensor location back of the right hand the cylinder head crankshaft position sensor ckp located and the cylinder head temperature by the uh, crank position sensor and the ckp connectors are uh, insulated to the steel pipe connector and because so much hot and the top of the cylinder head and uh, high pure pressure control connector and to the high pressure pump high pressure pump will make the high pressure uh, fuel pressure and then it goes through down uh, from the tube right there high pressure fuel tube go to the each side the cylinder head there are both sides cylinder injector uh, bank one injector collector and then other side the bank two injector connector is right there there's a small connector beside the injector connector. It's a locking sensor connector. I show later and then injector and locking sensor. Just behind the manifold, manifold the absolute pressure sensor and the temperature sensor whole assembly right there. Uh, this one is map sensor usually called. And then beside uh, on the high pressure tube and the high pressure uh, pressure sensor right there. And then offside and then manifold runner control actuator bank one and then down and then runner, runner control bank two actuator and the top side this one is a runner control solenoid there right. yeah. let's move to the left hand bank and the bank two the top side the both side the pure pressure pump and then uh, the ignition coil also on the cylinder headers, 5, 6, 7, 8, and the front side is switch the temperature, solenoid, and then uh, exhaust and inside intake, and also port fuel injector so around the uh, intake manifold. There are two injector types, port fuel and a direct injection. Uh, this also switch the temperature, intake, and a bank one. And other outside the bank too. This one is uh, cabin heater coolant pump. Look at that, connector is down. And then beside the transmission fluid heater coolant control valve right there, the warm up engine coolant goes through to the uh, transmission cooler. This one is connector of the uh, behind the alternator. I didn't uh, install the alternator. Engine oil pressure control solenoid right here, and then downside engine oil pressure sensor. I this one is the alternator connector, and then alternator control, and then vehicle one is other and alternator B terminal. Now I move to the back of the engine, and then connect to the uh, transmission, and there are auto sensor, two auto sensor, top of them. Uh, heated auto sensor, the uh, back one is a catalytic monitor. Uh, it's on the right hand side, the uh, auto sensor, and also there are uh, catalytic monitor. Back of the transmission, uh, transfer case motor connector, right there, and then beside, and then canister, and then this one is a canister vent valve. And uh, another one is uh, important, the canister project valve, located at the top of the engine, is uh, the connector, and then project valve location right there. And then canister connect to the fuel tank. This one is the uh, if you have your blocking belt, and then uh, tank pressure sensor, and then fuel pump connector. 
right here. And you need to service uh, and repair fuel tank pressure sensor and fuel tank pump. Uh, you need to drop the fuel tank assembly. I show more sensors controlled by the PCM. One is the AC conditioning pressure transducer and the AC sensor, pressure sensor. And then other electronic solar body connector is on the solar body. And then I'm showing more detail oil uh, pressure control valve and oil pressure sensor. And then uh, left behind ignition coil capacitor. Now cross look high pressure a tube both side and the high pressure tube lane and injector location and a connector end of the both cylinder head and then knock sensor is located the top of the cylinder block and then also side of uh, high pressure rail and then injectors location right there when you need to service the injector and injector rail high pressure side you need to, to remove a uh, manifold also uh, replace the o-ring, uh, high pressure side o-ring and orb ceiling. PCM has uh, three connectors. 1381B is a communication brake, uh, accelerator, some of a sensor power source. And the next center one is the 1381E. E means engine and the most of engine sensor controls. Last one on the right hand side, C1381T. T means to the transmission, transmission connector or water sensor or transfer. I'm showing important connector, the C591 fuel pump connector and the EVAP canister wires uh, go through to the downside to the frame. This one's a PCM connector, three, con three connectors, each one you guys refer. I finished the engine job. Uh, this video help you guys uh, searching and finding PCM and also sensors. Thank you for watching.